If you're looking for help with AND slash OR formulas, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to be going into detail about these tricky formulas and exactly how to use them in your Airtable database. So if that's of interest, stick around, let's get into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I am the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you want to learn more, check out our website. I'll include links below and take our free Airtable crash course. It's going to get you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable. But without further ado, let's hop into the database here on my screen. And you can see that we've just got a really simple like table for people, right? And I have a full name, right? Just checking out some, uh, some people's names here. Then we have the status field and we've got a couple of different statuses that are available to us, right? The idea here is that we're kind of tracking people maybe through some sort of a CRM system. Okay. And then we're collecting email. Now, of course, your you know, people database is probably going to be much more complex than this, but I needed a few different data points for us to play with in order to put together some formulas. So the first thing to know about an and or an or formula, they both kind of are similar. So we're going to talk about both of them from a high level. The and formula and the or formula will always output either a true or a false value. So really what you're saying is, are these conditions all, you know, in, in the case of an and formula, are they all in existence? And if the answer is yes, then you get a yes. And if it's not, then you get a no or a true and a false or a one or a zero, right? It's a Boolean answer. Same thing with the or formula. It's basically saying, I'm going to list a, a lot of different criteria in here, two or more criteria. If one of these things is true, then output one or output true or output yes. And if none of them are true, then output the opposite, right? So really what we're talking about here they're, they're very similar formulas, but the AND formula is going to output in the case where all of the conditions inside of it are true. The OR formula is going to output when one or more of those conditions are true. So let's take a look and see what we have here. Let's put together an AND formula and let's talk about some possible uh, criteria that we're going to say. Let's say, for example, that we want to check that uh, status is client, right? We have a various number of status here, uh, statuses. Let's say we only want to bring back if they are a client and if they have an email address in our system. So this would be, I'm going to, you know, write the conditions up here in top on top with the formula. So client status and uh, existing email. So in our formula, we're going to write the AND formula, open, close parenthesis. This is standard for every formula you put together in Airtable. And now if you're new to formulas, when you go inside of those parentheses, you can see the syntax that you're supposed to follow in order to make this formula do its thing. And the only required condition is the first, logic, uh, first logical condition, the one that does not have brackets. Anything with brackets is an optional uh, an optional uh, parameter that you can add to here. And you notice then that you get these three ellipse here, the ellipse, and this is basically saying you, this can go indefinitely. You can put as many different logical conditions scrunched together in this and statement as you want. So in our case, we have those two examples, right? We are saying the client status uh, or the status equals client and the exist and the email exists. So how do we do that? We say and, so we're checking for status, and this is a field is equal to, and since this is text, we need to con uh, contain it within quotations. So I'm so this little first part is just saying the status is equal to client, comma, and the and is implied because it's already a part of this formula. And then the second part we're checking for is that email exists. And so to see that it exists, you just need to say and email. So the comma here is separating the different parameters that we want to check for to make sure that they are all true at the same time. So when I save this formula, you'll see that we get either a one or a zero as an output. And this just means true or false, right? Yes or no. 
either it, it, the conditions are met or they are not met. So of course we only have one example in our three uh, records here that meets these two criteria. If I change one of the statuses of a client or, or one of these statuses to client, that formula will update for those particular clients. And also if we remove an email for one of our clients, then suddenly we don't have an email. So because both of these things are not both true at the same time, it changed to a zero. So that's how the and statement works. Now taking that to the next level, or rather playing with a different formula, we could write a similar formula for the or statement. So we could say, well, client status or client is equal status, or there is an existing email. And the syntax for this is exactly the same, except for the fact that we're using or, right? So the formula is no longer an and formula, it's an or formula. And so we're gonna say the same thing. For this example, we'll say the status must be client and an email must, or, or, excuse me, or an email must exist. So now that we pop that in, we can give it a save. And of course, this is going to produce some different outputs for us. This formula, of course, is a different formula, meaning that only one of those conditions must be met at a time. Now, I should have pointed out when I was writing inside of this OR formula, when you look at the syntax, it's exactly the same as the AND syntax. We have at a minimum of one logical condition. The second and third and fourth are all optional, and it can go indefinitely, right? So you can bring in as many different things here as you want to check for. And if any one of those things is true for the OR formula, then this is going to get marked off. So let's verify that this formula is working correctly. If I remove the email address and the status is not equal to client here, then the OR formula is turning to a zero. So it's saying none of these conditions are met here. So there you have it. Those, those are the basics for AND slash or formulas. Now, in more advanced use cases, these formulas can be nested together as can pretty much all formulas in Airtable. And of course they follow the order of operations, right? So the thing that is inside all the parentheses is always gonna happen first and then it kind of grows out from there. So we can write combined conditions that makes sure that, uh, that they're followed in the order that we determine. So let's say, for example, we want to find someone who is either Luke or uh, Han Solo. So I'm going to write or, or I'll just write and slash or combo here. And the formula, I'm going to start writing it piece by piece. So first I'm going to say or, or did I say and? <laughs> said or. So we're looking for either first name or full name is equal to Luke. Skywalker, comma, or the full name is equal to Han Solo. Now, in this case, of course, we know just with an or formula that we're going to see that this condition is met for the first record, the second condition is met for the second record, and the third record does not meet any of these conditions, so it throws a zero. Let me move this over so that it's closer to our raw data here. So that's the first part of this. So we have an OR field, but now let's suppose we wanted to combine it with an AND as well. So we can set up some rules that say, uh, we want this to be true and we want there to be uh, the status of client. So the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to start by writing the AND formula. The first condition that you want to be true, we just copied before I cut it out so I can paste it again. So I'm saying that this OR formula is the first condition inside my AND formula that must be met. And I want the status in this example to be client. So this might look a little full of syntax here, but when we break it down, especially because we just wrote it and we know exactly what it says, we know that the OR formula is gonna be looked at and we're gonna say, is the full name Luke Skywalker or is the full name Han Solo? If either of those is true, then that first condition will be met. The second condition is the status is client. And then these two conditions are wrapped around an AND or wrapped inside of an AND formula. So both of them must be met at the same time. So we know that we have one 
or we have a, a record here that, that does contain the name Luke Skywalker, but the status is not client. So we wouldn't expect this to meet both criteria right now. So it would of course be false. In the case of Han Solo, Han Solo is the name and the status is client. So this meets both of those and criteria. In this case, Princess Leia does not meet the or criteria, but she does have the status of client. So she should throw a false as well. So we only have one positive uh, from this formula and it's the record that meets the name of Han Solo and has the status of client. And these things can be put in any order, right? So you could wrap that or out, you could wrap another statement outside of that and it can just go indefinitely. The ultimate output here from an and slash or formula is always going to be a one or a zero, a true or a false. Now, the reason this is all really important is because now you can build really robust if statements. Because if you recall, an if statement is always going to use a logical qualifier up front as its first parameter. And so you can write a very complex and slash or formula at the beginning of an if statement to make your logical output. And then given if that, if that uh, condition is met, that logical condition, then you can embed your outputs for if this, otherwise this. So used in parallel with an if statement, this can be incredibly powerful. I'll be sure to link a video below where we went into detail on if statements. And please let me know what other questions you might have around this and slash or formula syntax and how to use it. I'll try to get to those in the comments. As always, I hope you found that to be very helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing on by our website and check out all the resources we've put together. We have a free Airtable crash course that will get you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable. And we also offer some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online group coaching programs and courses. And for the very advanced needs, we can build a bespoke project for you from scratch. So swing on by and I look forward to connecting with you soon.